Okay, let's do our first energy problem example. <clears throat> and it's relatively simple. Um, let me read the question to you. The horizontal pump discharges 20 degrees Celsius water at 57 meters cubed per hour. Neglecting any losses, or neglecting losses, what power in kilowatts is delivered to the water by the pump? Okay, so we have a pipe here. And water is flowing in from here, and it goes through the pump, and it comes out here. <clears throat> and the pump, remember, gives energy to the water. And they're asking what power in kilowatts is delivered to the water by this pump. And remember, not in the last video, but the video before that, we said that power, power, is equal to the device head times the weight flow rate, which is gamma times Q. Okay? And in this case, the device we're looking at is, is this pump. So we're going to look at the pump head, right? Sub P. And the equation we derived in our last um, video was the change in the total energy head is equal to the energy head coming out in this case it would be over here minus the energy head coming in which would be here right because the water's coming in this way <clears throat> and that's equal uh, to all the the summation of the pump heads minus the summation of all the turbine heads minus um, the summation of all the frictional head losses, right? And that's the equation we found, or we we came up with in the last video, and this is the equation we came up in the video before that. <clears throat> and we can use these two equations to find um, what we're looking for in this problem. In this case, they want to know what the power is delivered by the pump. And if there was a turbine, and they said, what was the power of the turbine? You would change this HP to HT, right? You would figure out this, the turbine head. <clears throat> and if you wanted to figure out the power of the pump, you would use the pump head, which is this, right? To find power in kilowatts, right? So the very first thing we should do um, is they give us the volumetric flow rate. They give us Q, right? And that's equal to... 57 meters cubed per hour. And we should change that to meters cubed per second because that's pretty that's the standard units we use um, in fluid mechanics. And so in one hour there's 3600 seconds, right? And if you solve that out, the hours cancel out and we're left with meters cubed over seconds, which is what we want. <clears throat> and that's equal to 0 0.015 um, 833 meters cube per second. Okay, so we found Q. We found Q. Okay? <clears throat> and we know that gamma of H2O, or gamma of water, at 20 degrees Celsius is about 9.80 kilonewtons per meter cube, right? The specific weight is about 9.8 kilonewtons per meter cube cubed. And we can convert that into newtons per meters cubed by multiplying 9.8 uh, by 1,000 and we get 9,900 uh, newtons per meters cubed. Okay, great. Now we have gamma. Now we need to figure out what the pump head is. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I'm going to go ahead and label this point 0.1 and this point 0.2, okay? And the diameter of this pipe is 9 centimeters, and the pressure here is 120 kilopascals. And it goes to the pump, and down here at point 0.2, we have a diameter of 3 centimeters, so it's a third smaller than this, and the pressure here is 400 kilopascals, okay? And remember, our total energy had, we need pressure, we need height, and we need velocity. And right now, we don't have any of the velocities. We don't have the velocity at 1, we don't have the velocity at 2. Uh, but we do have the um, volumetric flow rate. 
and remember using continuity that the volumetric flow rate um, here is going to be equal to the volumetric flow rate here so we can find velocity of 1 and velocity of 2 using um, using Q is equal to VA so um, for velocity 1 we can say okay Q which is 0 0.01583 right meters cubed per second is equal to v1 times a1 so the area of 1 what's well, a tube right so it's going to be pi over 4 times the diameter squared and we want to change centimeters to meters so that's 0 0.09 meters squared and we find out that the velocity at 1 um, is about 2.49 meters per second okay <clears throat> And same thing for um, the velocity at 2 okay, per second is equal to V2, A2. So the area at 2 is pi over 4 times 0.03 meters squared, right? So pi over 4 times 0.03 meters squared. Um, and, and we get velocity at 2 is about 22.4 meters per second. That makes sense, right? The smaller pipe gives a, a faster velocity if the flow rate is um, the same. Okay, so now we have velocity at 1, velocity at 2, we have the specific weight of water, we have the volumetric flow rate, and we need to find power. But in order to find power, we need to find the pump head. Now, in the question, they said um, in our analysis, neglect any losses. And what that means is we can neglect any frictional head losses in the pipe, in the pump, in the entrance, and in the exit, okay? So that term is zero in this equation. Now, if you look back at the system, are there any turbines? Well, no, there's only one pump. So we can say this is zero, right? And how many pumps are there? Well, there's only one pump, right? So we, it's the summation of all the head pumps, right? So it'll just be HP because there's only one pump. Now, <clears throat> we can say our out is 0.2, right? The water's coming out, and our in is 0.1. So we can say, let me do this in a different color. Um, I like this color. We can say that the change in total energy head of the system is going to be equal to um, h of 2 minus the total energy head of 1, right? And that's going to be equal to the summation of all the pumps, right? Because these two terms are 0. And there's only one pump, so we can say it's just um, h of p, right? Now, h of 2, or the total energy head at 2, is going to be v2 squared over 2g plus the pressure at 2 over gamma plus the height at 2. Okay, that's that's h2 minus the total energy head at 1, which is v of 1 squared over 2g plus pressure at 1 over gamma plus height of 1. And all that's going to be equal to the head pump, right? Or the pump head. <clears throat> head pump, pump head. Now, we can actually cancel a few things here. H2 and H1, would you would you say it's about equal? Yeah, there's no major change in elevation.